Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jacqueline Flores, and today's video we are having my husband in it, and also our pupperoon. Well, he's not really a puppy, but he's small, and his name is Rocky. <laughs> um, we are gonna be doing the gingerbread challenge, gingerbread decorating challenge. So, if you want to see who did the better job, just keep on watching. All right, so I got these pre-built gingerbread houses at um, Costco for $7.99 each, and they're pretty good, honestly, for the size of them and everything that was included in them. So we got, each box got uh, icing. We got some candies of like a bunch of candies. This, we got some colored icing, we got some felt tips, and we got some gingerbread mans, and then whatever this is, and then I believe this is the door, but yeah. So, one of the rules is that we can't copy what's on the box, because you know how they make the, the box house look all presentable and nice? We can't copy this design. Okay. I didn't get tips. Yeah, you did. Check in there. They're right there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So. You think you'll win or what? <laughs> what? Okay. So let's just get started. I don't know what he's doing. He's, in, he's inspecting the building. The foundation. <laughs> were we when we first met each other? I was 16. I was a young buck fresh out of soccer. I was 14, gonna be 15 in July, and we met in March? March, April. How did you ask me out? <clears throat> with some nachos? <laughs> Wasn't it with nachos? I don't remember. You tell me. Pretty sure it was nachos. I bought her gas station nachos and she fell in love with me. So, I think you guys can see so far that I just put some little loops on my roof. And then I got my door on already. How I knew she was the one. Oh, God. We were barely going out. Probably within that same month. No, probably a month later that we started going out. I knew she was the one because we pulled up to the same gas station that bought her nachos. She ripped open a bag of chips. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> took out one potato chip out of that bag, <laughs> ate it, closed that bag up, and put it back on the counter. And I thought to myself, <laughs> it, she's crazy, for one. Uh, she kind of retarded at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but also, she's down. <laughs> she was down. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know why I did that too. It just like suddenly happened. So like, um, there was these bag of chips I thought I wanted, but then so I opened it, whatever, before I paid for it, and then I just I grabbed one out thinking I was gonna buy it, and then I decided and I'm like, nah, I don't like these, so I freaking put him back on the on the rack, and he was all shitting bricks. He looked at me like, what the fuck did you just do? So my best memory, well not the best memory, but my funny memory. So the TMI, but 
<laughs> me and Juan were taking a shower. And I'm out of know what what no happened. Shh. I don't know what happened, but um the floor was slippery. The t well, the bathroom t oh, tub. Water is slippery. The f I don't know if it was no se queda, but it was slippery. I think they were, like we had spilled some soap on there, or whatever, and it, it just didn't um, disintegrate into the water yet. So it was just like a glob in there, and I might have stepped on it or something. But all of a sudden, <laughs> you see me slipping in the tub. <laughs> And I looked over my husband on <laughs> It's like he was scared. <laughs> but you can tell that he was trying to hold <laughs> He was trying to hold back his la laughter. And that was funny. How did you feel that very moment? <laughs> huh? Oh, right. <laughs> okay, okay there, buddy. <sighs> I think we had just gotten barely um, happy again after like a fight. So. I was like, I'm really poor pendeja, and then at the same time, I was like, should I help her? <laughs> or, I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I was like, what do I do in this situation? <laughs> I haven't, I've never been put in this <laughs> position ever before. What is my favorite color? Back then, it used to be purple, but now it's yellow. Okay, yours is red and black. Mm, what's my favorite number? 15. What? I don't know. It is 17. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yours is 24. <laughs> uh, can I borrow some of your green beads, babe? Nope. Please. Please. I just need like one, two, one. I need like three, please. Can you pinch a green guy? Who said I love you first? One, two, three, four, five, six. It was probably me. Me. <laughs> Damn it. We're gonna have 20 more minutes now after this. Two more minutes and whatever we have is what we have. And we'll judge each other now after that. Alexa, <laughs> put a timer on for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Please use your hour. Stop looking at my shit. <laughs> Get out of your shit, it's ugly anyways. Oh, okay. Drop yourself. No. Drop yourself. I'm almost done. Mm -mm. Yeah, babe, that's cheating. After that, you're cheating. Alexa, stop the timer. Alexa, stop the timer. Go, go hold your brush. Why? Because you know mine loses. Mine is, mine is okay. <laughs> Show them what you did. Explain your decorations. Alright, well. Kind of pick it up a little bit. First off, right here. 
I just did the, the most Frenchiest chic Mover design ever. So right here, I did like a little, like a little shield symbol with the 24, cause this is like, it's kind of like a trap house in the 24th <laughs> district. So them rival, the rival, uh, what's the rival of gingerbread? Them butter cookie do them butter cookie guys better not be showing up on this proper or they gonna get blasted with some hot milk. Anyway, so that's the meaning of the symbol. Down here, you know, I got some little windows going on, you know, little ornaments on the windows. I got my little weed trees right here. But puro to relax yeah here they got like a little beach ball going on what the fuck that's about but they got a little beach ball right here you know that casual little door little little tree ornaments right there and then just some design up here my little roofing on the door was complete shit and then we flip it over right here just normal same as the front windows decorations Another little weed tree, another beach ball apparently. In the back, same shit, windows, little ornaments. Little, uh, what is that, orange slice on top. Now, this is where I stopped. I was gonna do some, some pretty good patterns and yeah. That's all I got done. You do good. Good job. Okay. So mine's kind of messy because everything started like coming down. Let me start off by drawing, showing my gingerbread mints. They're kind of ugly, but. So I made these little cute gingerbread mints. This one has a little cute tie. This one has some buttons. And this is the house cape. So, <laughs> why you hated? This is my house. So right here. <laughs> oh really? He's flipping <laughs> me off. He's flipping me off. No. So like I told you guys in the beginning, I did their little cute beads all over the roofing. Right here, I put a little candy cane, whatever decoration right there. We have some snow on the chimney. Look at the droops on that. That looks perfect. That's Doesn't amazing. Look like snow to me. Shut up. Why are you hating? Right here is supposed to be a rep for it. That's what I wanted actually to have the candy cane right here, but the candy cane kept on coming down. So I'm like, okay, let's just put this, whatever. These ones were supposed to be like little cute swirls on it too, but then these are the ones that started melt that started like melting down. So I kind of just. I don't know what they are, but okay. And then we did some windows with a little mistletoe on each window. We did some candy cane bushes on each side by the window. And then we have our little tree. <clears throat> and then you turn it, you turn it around. Okay, you turn it around. Then we got some more trees, a decorated window, uh, a wall pattern, and some mistletoe. And in the back, we have the Jesus Christ symbol because, you know, keep Christ in Christmas. <laughs> and then we have another ref, some more decorated windows with uh, mistletoes, another little tree on the side. Same thing on the other one. And yeah, that is my gingerbread house. All right, guys. So, moment of truth. Hold yours. Which house do you, you didn't even get to put your chimney? Damn. Oh. Which house do you guys think won? Which house would you prefer to live in? Or Compton? Or would you want to live in the Beverly Hills or like Riverside and shit? Freaking Calabasas right there. You choose. I would say this think is about, protected hood. Think about your kids' future. Think about your rap <laughs> career. You can, you can release a mixtape up in this hole. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, at least my house people. You didn't even get to decorate your gingerbread men. Yeah, well then again.
again. I don't want. I wouldn't want these people living in this. Look how cute, like fancy suit and tie and shit. Like they belong in this house. They're a happy family in here. Remember your mixtape. He so doesn't out. have any family members. They all died because of all the shootings that were going on around the neighborhood. <laughs> or yeah. They all made a big move to Riverside and live comfortably in their 10 bedroom house with pool. No. Exactly. So it was abandoned. <laughs> still there for them young bucks. But yeah, guys, we obviously could tell who won. But just comment down below and tell us who won. So that's the end of this video. And if you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Yeah, comment, share, up. subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.